a train starts from rest and moves with uniform acceleration alpha for some time and acquires a velocity v it then moves with a constant velocity for some time and then decelerates at rate beta and finally comes to rest at the next station if l is the distance between the two stations then the total time of travel is in this question a train starts from rest initial velocity of the train is equals to 0 and then it is moving with uniform acceleration alpha up to certain time let it be t1 and finally it acquires the velocity v so initial velocity is 0 and final velocity is v and after then it continues with the constant velocity up to certain time let it be t2 so acceleration is equals to 0 and here initial velocity v and final velocity also v only why because it is moving with the constant velocity and after then so at this point initial velocity is v and it decelerates at the rate beta deceleration is beta then acceleration is equals to minus beta and final velocity is zero at this point let it be t3 the distance between the two stations in this question we have to find out the total time of travel t1 plus t2 plus t3 we want in first part of the journey time is t1 take equation of motion v is equals to u plus at here final velocity is v initial velocity is 0 acceleration is alpha time is t1 from this t1 is equals to v by alpha in t1 time the distance traveled by the train take equation v square minus u square is equals to 2a s1 s1 is the distance in first part so from this initial velocity 0 s1 is equals to v square by 2 alpha in second part we don't know the distance at the same time acceleration is equals to 0 we know the formula velocity is equals to distance by time time is t2 and the distance let it be s2 and from this t2 is equals to s2 by v but we don't know s2 first find out s1 and s3 subtract these two from the total distance l so in next part initial velocity is v and the final velocity is 0 and acceleration is minus beta take equation v is equals to u plus at final velocity is 0 initial velocity is v and acceleration minus beta time is t3 from this t3 is equals to v by beta and the distance traveled v square minus u square is equals to 2as final velocity 0 initial velocity v square 2 into minus beta and the distance s3 on both sides minus get cancelled then s3 is equals to v square by 2 beta we know s1 and s3 total distance is l L is equals to S1 plus S2 plus S3, and from this S2 is equals to L minus of S1 plus S3. Total distance L L minus S1 v square by 2 alpha S3 v square by 2 beta. Now time t2 is equals to L v. Minus v square by two common and here by v is there one by alpha plus one by beta that is equals to l by v minus 
वन वी गेट कैंसिल्ड हियर वी बाय टू अल्फा माइनस वी बाय टू बीटा सो नाउ द टोटल टाइम टी वन प्लस टी टू प्लस टी थ्री इज इक्वल्स टू टी वन वी बाय अल्फा प्लस टी टू एल बाय वी माइनस वी बाय टू अल्फा माइनस वी बाय टू बीटा प्लस टी थ्री इज इक्वल्स टू वी बाय बीटा एल बाय वी एंड हियर वी बाय अल्फा इज कॉमन वन माइनस हाफ हाफ ओनली सो फ्रॉम दिस वी बाय टू अल्फा एंड माइनस वी बाय टू बीटा प्लस वी बाय बीटा प्लस वी बाय टू बीटा एल बाय वी प्लस टेक वी बाय टू कॉमन वी बाय टू इनटू वन बाय अल्फा प्लस वन बाय बीटा चेक द ऑप्शंस फर्स्ट ऑप्शन इज करेक्ट 